Hi, I'm Catalina and today I'm gonna tell you the story about Flora Selling. Okay, this story is about a woman named Flora Selenig, who grew up in Arusha, Tanzania, one of the busiest cities. She's an educated woman. Uh, she has a university degree and speaks four languages. Nowadays, she depends on the earth for her livelihood. Because her life has changed when she fell in love with Loshiro, a man from the Dorobu people. She has met him 10 years ago in Tana and they started talking and then dating. And later they got married. And Loshiro brought Flora uh, in the tiny Kujungu village. Flora's family knew that she was leaving the comforts for a world without modern conveniences. Somewhere where they would never see each other again. Somewhere where it takes 40 minutes to take water. Unlike the Dorobo tribe, Flora and Rulo Shiro raise cattle and grow crops. This lifestyle means that Lo Shiro has to often spend long periods far away from home because he has to hunt. Flora gave up everything for her husband and now she barely sees him. Sometimes she thinks about packing up and go to Arusha, but she can't leave Lo Shiro and their three kids behind. She wants to forget her old life and leave her new one in Kujungu. But she also decides to visit her mother in Arusha. When she begins her 40 minutes, her four day journey uh, to Arusha, she doesn't even dare to look back at her kids. As she arrives in her hometown, she doesn't feel like she can recognize anything there. That was the place where she got her first boyfriend and her first job. She walks to her mother to find out if she's still alive. And when she sees her, there's a very emotional reunion between the two of them. Flora tries hard to relate the person she used to be and thinks about her choice. Finally, Flora decides to go back to Kijungu, to her life, her family, and her new home. And she tells us that some part of her, ha for her, ha her family, her sisters especially, didn't understand why she wanted to go back there. But she explained us that even though they don't have so much comforts there, they don't have any modern conveniences, they have to uh, walk 40 minutes to get water and four days to her hometown. She says that there's her place where she feels like home and that's her land next to the Dorobo tribe. And she says that she would continue to visit her mother and her sisters, but she will still live in Kinjungu Next to Lorish, Loshiro, her three kids and the tribe. Thanks for listening to me and bye.